Hey and welcome back everyone. Wanted to thank everyone for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, as part of that, I'm doing this video. This is called the Quick Kiln. Here's the Quick Kiln that I'm going to show you in this video. It's a two-piece setup. It's got made of fire brick. Comes with uh, graphite crucibles. Comes with some tongs and. Um, the only thing that you really need is two benzomatic torches shown here. And those easily fit into the kiln by simply inserting them in these holes right here, which are designed to be the right diameter for the kiln. So there's one of them. You have to have two of them on. They fit in the holes pretty much like that. When you turn this on, you turn one of them on first without the other one present. You want the uh, kiln to get hot first and then you put the other one in and then turn that on. And uh, you don't even need to light it. You have the lid on when you turn the second one on. You leave them till you've got bright yellow heat and using the right kind of crucible, you can pretty much melt anything. And you turn them up until you've got about an inch and a half to two inches flame coming out the top. These are great for melting things like aluminum, go, uh, copper and gold, silver, etc. In this video, we're going to melt copper. And I'm going to use this old copper tubing that I have sitting around as a test. The graphite crucible sitting in the bottom of the kiln. What I'm doing is dipping that down so that it's in the crucible. You can see the green color. Now we need to open the kiln, so we're going to do that right now. We've got our molten copper in here, and uh, it's still pretty hot and pretty liquid. Here it is, and we're going to pour it into this water. So a graphite crucible, which is not looking too healthy, it looks like the crucible itself has become damaged by the heat. It's half oxidized and irregular. We'll take a look at what that looks like once it cools down. So here's our end product. It looks here that the flame was too oxidizing. So in summary, the quick kiln is economical, easy to set up and good for small loads. The cons are Difficult to control temperature, small sample sizes, needs two torches to run it, and it's supplied with a graphite crucible that gets eaten up.